In your health news this morning, you may be taking your dog or cat out more often because of the nice weather. But get this, those hot temperatures don't just dehydrate your pets. Yeah, think about their little feet mm -hmm. on the hot cement, right? Casey Torres talked to a vet who says the summer months can really do serious damage on the pet's body. Auto mechanics, construction workers. He's named Heimdall. He's a big old baby. He's real calm. He really likes people and he likes other dogs. So. And he loves going to the dog park where he sniffs other dogs' butts. He gets to do that a lot. We try to do the dog parks in the mornings uh, around 9 o'clock, between 9 and 10, and uh, in the evenings. So I try to do it maybe three to four times a week. Dr. Veronica Bigaman, a veterinarian at Zia Pet Hospital, says those times of day are great to prevent serious injuries to their paw pads. I have seen dozens of cases where pets have burned their paw pads or they've sustained some form of injury from, from the hot weather. Concrete, asphalt, turf and other hard surfaces can turn into hot plates during the summer months. Our dogs can experience something as minor as a first degree burn where it's just the surface, but it can be as, as progressed as a fourth degree burn where there's actual tissue showing. Serious cases can call for stitching the pop head back on. Another thing to keep in mind is that if your bare feet or hands can't stand any surface for more than three seconds, then it's too hot for your dog or cat. It doesn't just take torn pads or bleeding to warrant a visit to the vet. There are other signs of injury. You might notice they might be licking their feet more, they might be limping, they might be a little bit painful or reluctant to walk. Dr. Bigaman recommends booties, protective paw stickers, and walking your dog or cat more often to build up tolerance. Just like Heimdall. Casey Torres, QB4.